Hi class. This week we'll be delving into our topics, starting with taking a look at what it means to develop mentoring and coaching relationships. Chapter 1 explores what it takes to have a successful professional mentoring relationship. The chapter poses the question, how does mentoring fit into professional development that strengthens early childhood teaching and program practices? The chapter examines this question and the terms, goals, benefits, roles, and responsibilities associated with collaborative mentoring relationship. As we proceed through this course, I want you to keep in mind positive mentoring relationships you may have benefited from. In fact, that will be part of our discussion topic this week, to share about mentoring relationships you have participated in. I would say as a supervisor, it is challenging to separate between supervising and mentoring. They are not the same thing. There are some elements that overlap, sometimes more than others, depending on the personality of the mentor slash supervisor and mentee slash employee. But if we look at the purpose of the relationships, we can more easily see some of the distinctions. There is so much valuable information in chapter one of our text, I think you're really going to gain a great understanding of our topic as you read it. I would say that being a mentor is one of the most rewarding parts of working with others. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Have a great week.